Hey guys, so this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT. To access ChatGPT, enter chatpointopenai.com in your browser URL. You'll get the login or the sign up page. So click in login if you have an account or sign up to create an account with ChatGPT. If you click sign up, then you get to the create account page. Then you can read the note that is telling you and you enter your email address, click continue, and you go through the process to create an account. Once you log into ChatGPT, and here's the dashboard. For the left side is uh, the command that you enter before, and it lists it there. Then also that on the right side, you have uh, some example that uh, the prompt that you can select. Uh, they also tell you capability of ChatGPT, such as you remember what you said in early conversation and so on but they also tell you that uh, it will like decline the appropriate request and they also tell you that there's a limitation that it may generate incorrect information or it may occasionally perform harmful instruction or bs content and it also have limited knowledge of the world and event after 2021 then below you type in your prompt and you click on the arrow to send a request to ChatGPT. We can write the question to ChatGPT in the form of prompt. So for the first prompt, I'm going to ask it to tell me that who's the first person that walked on the moon. So it gives me information about the first person to walk on the moon, which is uh, Neil Armstrong, with a date and upload 11 mission and additional information. Click on Regenerate Response for ChatGPT to answer the same question, but there will be a different variation uh, response. The two slash two, which is the generated two answer for the same question. You can click on arrow to cycle through them. Click on thumb up to buy additional feedback, what you like about the response of the ChatGPT. You can also click thumb down, this is basically provide feedback for the AI, so you can better train the model. To copy ChatGPT response, click on the icon that like clipboard. Then you can paste into destination, for this example is notepad. Once ChatGPT response, you store the chat history on the left side, which is the history sidebar. We can ask ChatGPT to generate a list. So in this case, I ask ChatGPT to list five apple variety. As you can see, the response is quite good. Got Granny Smith, Gala, Honey Chris, Fuji, and Pink Lady. From the list, we can ask ChatGPT to give us more information on option number one which is what color is a Granny Smith apple. To continue the conversation, we can ask what is the best way to eat the Granny Smith apple. I'm getting like great answer here, like tell me to eat fresh and raw, or you can slice with it, make salad with it, or you can bake an apple pie or so, uh, cooking also. We can get ChatGPT to generate content. So in this case, I asked ChatGPT to write a story about an aunt that got lost, but then finally able to get back home. As you can see, it did a good job creating a story. To make the story shorter, you can just write a prompt just exactly like that. Make the story shorter. As you can see, you can press the story into five lines. What if we want to replace the main story character, which is an ant, 
to a cat. So just write the problem like that. Replace the ant in the story with a cat. It has changed the uh, name from Andy to Coco with the name the cat and have written the story that how Coco able to get home after got lost. We can also use ChatGPT to learn how to code. So in this case, I asked it to write a program to print Hello World in Python. Now I ask ChatGPT to write the Python code to accept user input and print it out. Not only it shows us how the Python code, but also explain how it works and show us an example of the output. So I asked ChatGPT to show me how to code in Python to calculate the percentage of three fifths. The calculation is correct. Uh, 3 fifth is 60%. Now I asked ChatGPT to provide how to calculate the 3 fifth in math term. In this prompt, I want to make 200 components. Now each box contains 100 parts and you require 5 parts to make each component. I want to know how many boxes does it need to make a total of 200 components. So we have so many answers which will take number of components I need multiplied by number of parts in a component which give me a thousand parts, then divide by a hundred uh, parts per box and give me ten box. We can also use ChatGPT as a translator. So in this particular case, I have to translate an uh, English sentence to French. So I did a great job. Uh, in English sentence, what is today's last special? And put the translator to French. Quelle est la place de Jésus aujourd'hui? You can also try another translation, which is what times now, into French is Kyoto Echin Menang. We can also ask ChatGPT to give us suggestions. So in this prompt, I'm asking what are the five ways to cool a cold. So it have given me a five good method to cool a cold. If I want the answer in shorter sentence. I could write a prompt that we work in shorter sentence. So in this case, you can see that it gave me a summary of the each point. I can use ChatGPT to correct grammar mistake. I want a variety of different answers, so I type the word rephrase to have a different answers. We can also rephrase a different sentence. As you can see, ChatGP is able to give the similar answer to the same question, but just a little bit of change. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful for you to make use of ChatGPT. 
If you like this video, click a like, subscribe, you're not subscribed by yet, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.